Hello everyone and welcome back to a Let's Play of Penumbra Black Plague with your host about Nation X and 45. This is a bonus video where I'm going to go through this game and just get all the artifacts. Um, I have a list of their locations right here so we don't have to take too long in finding them. Um, might make this a bit of a speedrun video, I don't know how it's going to be yet. I'll, you guys will see that after I'm done editing and uploaded and everything. I'm just going this on the I'm just doing this on the fly, so maybe you'll just see the artifact locations, maybe it'll be more of a speedrun thing, but anyway, we are going to be doing a new game, going through the entire game, getting all the artifacts, so we can get the secret. Because apparently if you collect all the artifacts in the game, you actually unlock something. I don't know what. They I haven't looked that up. I think I might know what it is. But I'll I'll hold off on that for now. But yeah, let's get to these artifact location. <gasps> nope, can't skip cutscenes unfortunately, as much as I would like to. But uh So yeah, here we are. Resuming again from Penumbra Overture. But this time with a very different mission. To collect our things. Alrighty then. I don't think you guys need to see me get out of here again. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I get somewhere. And don't know why I'm showing this, just some finagling going on. Alright, that is that. This is not in the picture. Get out of there. Enough. Bucket is not in here. Should be fine. I'm not entirely sure why I'm showing this. I'm just kind of. Yeah, I really don't know. But basically, what I did, what I didn't show, because. I was silly and didn't record it. Um, can you get all this in position, right? Got the can over on the little raw there, you got the two barrels, you got the chest, you got this little bottle. That's basically all that happens. Thought I'd show that off for you guys. Okay, and here we are. We are now entering a room where we might actually find another artifact. Supposedly, there it is. Right under the bench. Okie dokie. But, there's also another one around here. Somewhere. Not in this room specifically, but in this area. Where exactly, I'm not sure. All I know is that it's in the infirmary. Just looking through here to make sure there's no extra stuff I missed. What I don't remember, however, is if the infirmary is accessible to us at this time. No, it is not. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys when uh, I get there. <laughs> We also have another one. Apparently there's something coming from behind that door, but whatever. We also have one in here, in storage, that I may have gotten. But regardless, yes, I'm pretty sure I got this one. But I'll show it off again anyway. Because why not? 
Okay, um... Oh, let's go see. Look here! It seems, uh. yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. Hate to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what Yes, I Clarence, want you get to, to mess around with my mind. Really don't well, care. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve. What, you think I care? Okay, so... I believe... Yes, here it is. Fairly sure I got this one in my original playthrough. But, um... Yeah. Now that I've gotten the one from here, I will go ahead and go to the one in the... Um, infirmary... What's it? See you guys then. Um, while I was on my way there, I thought there would be something that you guys might want to know. I never noticed the switch before in my playthrough. But if you turn this... You turn off the, uh, the lasers. And I'm guessing... This does the opposite. Perhaps not? Eh, whatever. I just thought that'd be a little interesting note for you guys. Well, apparently we have a video call for us. But... Oh, that's where the little bugger's hiding. I see you up there. Gotcha. Alright. Well, we have a call to answer, so I'll be right back as soon as I've taken this message. See you guys in a bit. I wonder how long it took me last time. Or that whole book, that works too. Oh my god! But I how hard. He hasn't started to smell. Give him the kiss of life. Oh, diddums. Daddy popped his clogs. Bull bleeding who? Get on with it, will ya? I'll get on with it. Hold on, Clarence. Just let me get this artifact. Here we are. Ta da! All right, so that's how you get the other artifact from um, this library. Next one is a bit of a ways. Actually, not too far. I can probably get to it in the next five minutes. And incoming corpse. Holy hell! Um, I, I mean, uh, good, yeah. Uh, more monkeys for the incinerator. Shut up. Eh, yeah, whatever, Clarence. Okay, then. Oh. It's right over there. You little monster, you. Oh, it's just that. Ow. Okay, then. That really wasn't all that hard. Most of these is really just paying attention to your environment. But, that is also the last one for a while, no, so, it really is quite amazing. as soon as Clarence you shuts up, I'll say goodbye solid. to you. How do you manage it with such small, singular brains? Isn't it terribly quiet not hearing the thoughts of every one of your brothers? You are, okay, I don't, well. Yeah, yeah, cures, rescue, saving the world. Whoops. Yeah, can you tell I'm kind of doing my own speed run of this? <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the dog kennels. 
Okay, so um, while we were hiding in this little side room here, which is also the maintenance room if you check on the map, this is right at the top of the stairwell down to the kennels. If we go into this garbage can and take a peek, let me just find it, we got another artifact. So, kind of cool. Getting two birds with one stone. Also in the kennels is the one artifact that I know I found for sure, which is in the one doghouse right over here. It's this one, I believe, correct? Yes. Yeah, pretty creepy. Oh well. Shelter now. research station is encountering technical oh. difficulties. Well, Please here's this artifact. That was easy. Capsule at the ready. <laughs> that was actually surprisingly easy. Like I said before, it actually really isn't all that hard to find the artifacts in this really just need to be paying attention. But, uh, next one is a bit further along, so I'll skip this uh, interesting story bit and see you guys in the chemical lab. Okay, here we are back in the chem labs. Um, already took care of the whole gas leak and everything, and the door. So, no issues there. Take a right turn. Monkey, they're, they're everywhere. Don't go on. Hi. Whoa. You'll get us killed. Ow. You know, my butt really wasn't itchy, buddy. I don't really appreciate it all that much. See if I can find this other switch. Ah, you bastard. Oh well. And off we go. Wait. Wait. Be careful. Something's wrong. All right, there we go. Yep, and there it is, the last one. Well, guys, workers are inefficient workers. since we've gotten every single one now, um, that basically means that uh, I can just skip to the credits from here. Although I kind of would like to show off that whole little end of the thing puzzle, but eh, you know what, I'm just going to go straight to the credits from here. Alright, now we actually get to see the credits roll. <laughs> Um, I'm sure some of you have already heard my spiel about what I thought of this game and kind of some of my thoughts on the story, but, um, I wanted to add a little more. Considering the ending there where, um, the walls are kind of disappearing and Philip really has no idea where to go from where he actually is, he literally cannot see the exits to the room he's in and all they can do is work on the computer. It's, if this is indeed a virus, it's very unlikely that he actually cured himself from it. Um, when he gave him, when he administered the antidote to himself that Amabel had typed up on her computer. 
But there's also the idea that maybe the Turngat, looking back on it, really isn't quite so willing to compromise. Because if it was, it would have wanted us to destroy the facility, but it also wouldn't have forced, it wouldn't have closed in the world on us like it did. So that's just a thought that I had. Now as to what happens in the end of this whole Penumbra series, there's a lot of discussion on that. Some people think that maybe Philip matures and eventually manages to leave. Um, some expect the worst, that this actually is just a continuing cycle because he did write this email. And um, it turns out that he really can't go anywhere and he finds... Or, that that's not the theory. Um, basically what happens is, in, in one theory, is that he ends up writing the email, as we saw... And the whole cycle begins over again, where he wrote it to someone he trusted, and they came to the facility. And then they end up getting trapped here and infected and becoming one of the infected or one of the Turngat communicators, and he goes crazy, and then he sends the email, and so on and so forth. Congratulations, you have found all artifacts and unlocked some secret stuff. Enjoy! Cool. Zor451. Is that so? Well, what I'm going to do, I know where that code is, I believe. If you guys remember, um, on Amabel Swanson's computer, we actually had some data, or we actually had an executable that we couldn't use. And apparently I have to um, go through the whole process of the Amabel again, but I'll just talk over that. But um, there was a little program called shmup.exe. Yeah, thanks a lot, jackass Clarence. You know, there's also something else I forgot to mention earlier on, was when he says skinny English professor, that dialogue is probably the hint he had for Amabel not actually being... for the guy not actually being Amabel. I think that's a piece of her skull in your shoe. Wait, don't tell me you really thought. I thought you knew I was pulling your leg. But uh, I, I have oh, no idea what shmup is. Best laid plans and all that. So let's find out. This, this is just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! This is basically Galaxa. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's great! That's a nice little minigame. I wonder if this is something devs worked on for a while. How fast can I click? Well, that was a fun little thing. Oh, it's an actual laser, that's interesting. Alright. Well. Now we have a homemade Galaxia. Whoa! How crazy can these power-ups get? Whoa. Holy crap! 
crap. Do I have full spreadshot upgrades or something? <laughs> this is pretty cool. I think I have full spreadshot upgrades. Well, I, um... I'm not sure why she would have this password protected, but okay. Oh, and a boss is going lovely. What is this boss, then? Oh, boy. I'm wondering, uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> yep, definitely a Galaxic clone. Well, that's that. Uh, yes. You silly Billy. Come on, monkey. Take a joke. Well, that was pretty fun. Boring. Where's the games on this thing? <laughs> there actually was a game on there. Nice hint, developers. Nice hint. Well, unfortunately, however, that is, um, it, as far as I know, for all of the extras that are actually in the game. Um, I did a little looking up, and from what I understand, there's actually a separate executable that you can only find once you get all ten artifacts and unlock it. So, um, I will get my screen recorder set up, and we will go find it. Until then, I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, hello everyone. We are back in um, Penumbra. We are now looking at the monitor stuff. So yeah, I hope you like my background and all that funny stuff. Cute. All right, anyway, um, <laughs> what we found was we unlocked the ten artifacts, and then there's supposedly something that got unlocked. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but um. There should be something that we can find. Hello, hello, hello. Enter password for encrypted file. Oh, Zor451. There we go. Let's just, um, let's just export that to the desktop, or extract it anyway. Behind the scenes, is this... Might not have installed correctly. Yeah, right, whatever. Huh. I have to say, I like the music for this piece. 
But since it's just the music playing, um, this looks like... The animations for the, uh, infected guys. Although a lot of them I don't recognize. Okay, that one was Clarence dying, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are the animations for the, um... The infected individuals. <laughs> he was doing them in his foyer? <laughs> yeah, they're the animations. That's great! Oh, that's too funny. Okay, that's him kicking in the door. That's what that is. Special event? Pretty cool. I like that one. So that is definitely a behind-the-scenes one, and this is uh, a whole bunch of concept art, apparently. So this is just a whole bunch of special stuff, like in um, Condemned Criminal Origins. I love it when they do this kind of thing. It's oh wow, <laughs> that looks like some of my sketches. <laughs> well, cool. Okay, this is uh. That's the cells. Okay, so that's where we originally started off, and then we went through the vent to somewhere else entirely. Shelves, right. Safe spot, flare, battery, and painkiller. It's kind of neat to see all this stuff. They really thought this out. 2.2 vents. Okay, so that's where... We came in, saw the strange stuff, came through here. It's... wow. Okay. I'm guessing that's the, uh... yep, player peaks from here. Okay. This is really cool. Yeah, I know my commentary isn't stellar, but it's just nice to see what was going on as they were developing this game, just to see how they were putting things together and what kind of steps they made for the drafts. And these maps are pretty darn effective, I'll say that much. Keg with the strong stuff? Okay, not sure what that means. Okay, that's the sewers. Where we first got familiar with Clarence. Make sure player cannot jump over using something. So this is kind of hard to read. But it's probably scanned, what do you expect? Dr. Swanson's room. As far as they have their own little map of this thing. It's not just part of the, um... Part of the, uh, research room. Residential corridors, locked. Biometrics locked. 
I wonder how many of these ideas that came up before they had the rest of the thing planned out. If this is how much detail they put into this one game. <laughs> Just the ideas for what they do for something so open world like Dragon Age or um, Demon Souls must be. Just stacks upon stacks of diagrams and papers and all kinds of stuff. Machine room, okay. That's the infirmary. Are we passed out? Um, mental realm. Okay, so that's the trials with Clarence. What's the eye about? You got some of these letters going on here. I'm not sure... what those mean necessarily. library where we got that one guy who tried to cut off his own hand I believe no this isn't that's not the library that was the computer room okay and here we have the cave cave was a nice kind of flashback to overture I think it's mostly what it reminded me of when we played it leg is not connected Ah, okay, this is, um, the scaffolding. And then another angle of it. Barrels. Okay, and this is outside in the cold again. And they have the three barrels sitting right here. Infested corridors, huh? Okay, and this is the kennels. Okay, so this was the last main area, if I remember correctly. Yep, and here's the kennels. The kennels is actually pretty darn big, all things considered. It's kind of weird, you think about it, it doesn't really feel that big, and then you actually look at these maps, it's like, compared to some of the other places we were in, they were huge. Research room, that was where... Yeah, this is Swanson's office. Oh. Okay, that's... <laughs> that was a bit unexpected. A 3D viewing of it. And the chemical laboratory. Wow! I didn't realize just how big this place was. Okay. Corridor design. I'm guessing that's for the chemical lab. I like how basic the sketch is, but it, it really kind of displays what's going on there. Okay, and then the pipe puzzle. I remember that one. That was uh, interesting, to say the least. The robot puzzle? Okay. I didn't realize they called it the robot puzzle, but um, okay. That'll work, I guess. And then they have how the mechanics work for that thing. The examination room. The last piece before it all went to hell. In the hive mind. Yeah, I never referred to it as the hive mind, even though I probably could have. It's, um, I always referred to it as the Turngat consciousness, but oh well. Same general idea. And this is. Do 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 do. Riddle door, okay, and that's where you had to, um... Pull that door can be seen through, player cannot get through. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So they have all the different objects for here as well. 
hospital door, the strong doors, trap door, the switch. Crate and solid rock. Flamethrower, quite low on wall. And the antidote machine. Okay. I'm kinda interest I'm kinda interested to know how it managed to filter out all the chemicals. But um my second time through where I was just trying to get all the chemicals in there, it didn't let me pour in the chemicals in a random order. It, there was actually a forced order to it, so I wonder if that was just how that worked. And a bridge lever. The dog houses with their little growly things, and the electric cabinets that we never actually had any interaction with. We just opened the the doors on them. And creepy infected face. Okay, and that looks like... Okay, that was um, the electronic control panel in the kennels, and that was the box that smashed Dr. Swan Swanson's head in. Metal bridge that was outside. Robot arm again. These are looking like more detailed sketches to put in perhaps modeling systems or something. Strange substance, security door. Substance container. Yeah, these look like they're all the objects. Okay. Worm. Worm, fetus, and brain. Okay, so that's what it was, that was when... Uh, bleh. Those are the things that were in the specimen jars. Another version of the infected. And this is looking like we're back at the beginning. Yep. Ooh, we have some backgrounds. Wow. They put some work into this. The same one just stretched. Okay, so they have a full screen and a widescreen version, I guess? Yep, that's what it looks like. Well, cool. And this, I've heard some people call this guy Red. I think this is actually um, Wilbur Frisk. Because as far as I remember, Red wasn't with the dogs. He was kind of trapped alone in a little cell, if you remember from Penumbra Overture. This I'm pretty sure is Wilbur Frisk, because he's eating with the dog. And he's not looking too human anymore. But uh, I kind of doubt that was the end image, considering what we heard at the end there. And that's when he first goes into the hatch. Well, that's pretty cool. Not setting those, not setting any of those as my desktop backgrounds. Oh, and they have widescreen versions of them. Okay. Well, I've already seen them. Well. Well, that was a super secret. That was just um, some behind-the-scenes stuff and desktop backgrounds, if you guys are interested. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that was pretty neat. I enjoy I enjoy those little behind-the-scenes kind of stuff. So that was that was pretty darn cool. I enjoyed that. But since I'm not going to be using any of those desktop backgrounds, you know what? I might actually keep the video though, because that does have some pretty funny music. I mean, come on. Oh, you know what would have been a good idea is to keep this running in behind the scenes so you guys have some background music to the pictures. But anyway... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this last bit of the, uh... of the Penumbra Black Plague. Now we are actually done with the Let's Play, um, now that we've seen all the behind the scenes stuff. I didn't realize that was what it was gonna be. But, um, that's pretty cool. All I knew was that you had to look in the uh, in the Black Plague Plague folder somewhere, and for some reason Requiem is part of Black Plague. 
question mark. Um, I might end up doing Requiem at some point. I might not. I don't know. And like I said before, I'm planning on doing Amnesia, but mostly as a comparison between it and Penumbra. So. Yeah. I think that'll about cover it, though, guys. Um, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this Let's Play and this bonus content provided to you by Frictional Games. It's really cool to see what they some ideas that they have behind the scenes and just ignore that Steam message. But, um, yeah. So I think this Let's Play finally draws to a close of Black Plague and Overture. But, uh, the Let's Plays themselves will not. So, until the next time, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed this this Let's Play as much as I enjoyed playing and recording it. And, um... May your days be merry. We are getting near Christmas, so I'll wish everyone a merry, a happy holiday. And, um... Many good days to come. So without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go and get on with your day. And enjoy it as much as you possibly can. But uh, thanks again for supporting me on this and just enjoying what I put out. So, yeah. Enough mushy stuff. <laughs> I will see you in the next Let's Play, guys. Have a great day, and bye for now.